Hello, hi, I'm Monica. How are you? Today we are going to talk about the articles. Um, the articles in English, we have three different types. We have a, we have the, and we have no article at all. Okay, so what is an article? An article is a little word that normally goes in front of the noun that we are referring to. And uh, it depends on the noun that we would use different articles. So we will see now the three types. So again, uh, remember that we use a or an. Of course, we use an uh, in front of a vowel. Then we use the and we, ha uh, we use the zero article. Zero article means no article at all, okay? Nothing at all. Let's start with the first one, with a or with an, okay? In what situations do we use a and not the or the zero article? For example, when we are uh, uh, mentioning something for the first time, we always start with a. Okay, it's a typical example in, in story, um, story for little children. You say, you're reading the Snow White story and you say, okay, in this story there was a woman or there was a prince, there was a queen. Okay, so you say, ah, okay, and the person, because it's the first time that you mention them. Of course, when you continue and it's the second time, we don't say, ah, anymore, we continue with that. Okay, then when we are describing something, we use a as well. So you can say, okay, what is a computer? And you say, okay, a computer, it's a, a machine, or um, I don't know, uh, what is um, uh, an orange? You can say an orange is a fruit, okay? So in front of fruit, in front of machine, you are putting or you are using a, because you are describing something, all right? And also when we talk about professions, okay? Remember that in English, we need to use the article a, okay? I am a teacher, she's a doctor, and um, he's a vet, okay? So we, we must use the a, um, and it's different to Spanish because in Spanish we don't say anything, okay? Soy médico, soy doctora, soy abogado, and we don't use uh, the a, but in English you must, okay? Also to um, show you surprise, you can say, oh, what a surprise, or what a party, or what a day, what a pity. When you have an exclamation expression, okay? Por qué día más feo? O vaya persona tan antipática? O qué idea tan buena, no? All those expressions, you need to use the a in front. Okay? What a fantastic idea. What a nice party. What a horrible uh, car, okay? So we use the a. And also when we are talking about frequency uh, expressions, for example, uh, how often do you go to the cinema? I go to the cinema once a year or three times a day or well, three times a day, I don't think so, but three times a month, um, four times a day. So that a year, a month, a week, okay? We use the a uh, um, when we're talking about frequency. Now, when do we use the the, the article the? Let's have a look. Again, we use the the um, when we have mentioned, when it's not the first time that we mention something, all right? So when you are talking about a story and you say um, there was a man that was in love with this uh, princess and then you say, you continue, the man uh, was in love, blah, 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 blah. Um, so we don't use a, but we use the when it's something already mentioned, okay? Now, we use the when it's, when it's something very, very clear and everybody understands, okay? So if you say, or if I ask you, please, can you open the door or can you close the window? Uh, I say the door or the window because it's clear that you know what window or what door I am talking about. Of course, it's the door in the class or it's the window in the class, okay? It's clear, it's not confusing, it's very simple, okay? And also we say the when we are talking about something that exists and there is only one, okay? So you can say the sun, you can say the planet Earth, or you can say the moon when there is only one of something, especially things in the universe, okay? The sun, the planets, the galaxy, uh, the Earth, uh, etc. Okay, there is only one. 
and then we have the zero article so that means no article nothing in front and this is really the problematic article for us Spanish people um, in Spanish we we everything is the okay you say la gente uh, everything in plural no you say las personas la gente um, eh, los idiomas eh, las mujeres uh, so that's why we say everything is there, but not all the time. Let's have a look. We don't use anything at all when we are speaking about something general, okay? And if it's a plural noun, okay, or if it's an uncountable noun, okay? In Spanish we say, pues, pues había mucha gente, la gente, eh, las personas, ¿no? Eh, in, in English we would say people. Um, there are many, many people, and we don't say the people. We simply say people are very strange, or people are friendly, or people are uh, people like chocolate. So when we are speaking about general things, or women uh, don't like doing housework, uh, or men uh, normally like football, when we are talking about general things in plural nouns, we prefer to use the zero article. Or sometimes with uncountable nouns, okay, for things that we cannot count, for, for example, sugar, for example, water, for example, butter, um, liquid, etc. We don't use anything. So you can say, yeah, water, um, it's very important for your health. You don't say, we don't need to say the water is very important because it's an uncountable noun, okay? Or sugar is bad for your teeth. Uh, we don't say to say we don't need to say the sugar is bad for your teeth, okay? So remember that general things, uncountable and plural nouns, we don't need the in front, okay? And also we have to remember that with special nouns we don't need the. For example, uh, words like work or home or school, if they go after prepositions like at to and from, we don't need to say the. So if you can say, I'll see you after school, okay? And I don't say, I'll see you after the school, okay? No, you have after and you have school, so no preposition, okay? Um, where are you going? Oh, I am going to, I am going to work, okay? We don't say, I am going to the work, ¿no? para, voy al trabajo, no? A el trabajo, simply, I go to work, okay? Um, where, where are you coming from? You can say, I'm coming from home. Vengo de casa. I am coming from home. We don't need to say, I'm coming from the home or I am coming from uh, the house of Pepita. Ta, ta, ta. No, I'm coming from home. Okay, no article there. Also, if you're talking about meals, for example, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you can say, I'm having breakfast. I'm having lunch and I'm having dinner. We don't need to say the breakfast, the dinner, or the lunch. I'm having or I am preparing the dinner is not necessary. We can say I am preparing dinner, or I am cooking dinner, or I am having lunch, okay? And also, of course, with days of the week and months in, in a year. So you can say, el lunes voy a trabajar. And you don't say, the Monday I go to work. No, simply, on Monday, but we don't use the, okay? or uh, no me gusta los lunes, of course, nobody does. I don't like Mondays, okay? We don't say I don't like the Mondays, no. It's a day of the week, so no that. And with months, the same, okay? I love November or I love uh, or I don't like um, December, okay, no that. And also with the words next and last, okay? If you have next and last and then you have after that a day, a month or a year, we don't need to use the. So you can say la semana que viene, next week, or you can say el último día hablamos de no sé qué. Last day we spoke about the. Eh, la, el año que viene nos veremos no sé cuánto. Next year I will see you in class. Ta, ta, ta. So we don't we don't say we never say the next year or the last year. Okay, we don't need to say the. All right. So now, let's do a little bit of practice. Here you have some examples. You have to choose the correct answer. I want you to stop the video now if you can, and then later I will show you the answers, okay? So please uh, stop the video and do the exercises. All right, so now you should have the, the answers corrected. I want to show you the correct ones. Okay, you should have these ones. Number one, Jess is a nurse. 
in a hospital. Of course, we're talking about professions and jobs. Remember, we use a with professions. And because you have already mentioned the hospital, we need to say the hospital. Okay, the first time she works in a hospital and now the hospital is. It's exactly like in Spanish. Now, number two is an exclamation. Okay, so you say, what a horrible day. Okay, you don't say, que día tan horrible. Yes, uh, what a horrible day. Okay, we'll have to eat our picnic in the car. Um, you say to eat our picnic in the car because it's clear that you understand that it's my car. Okay, it's, it's not confusing, it's very clear. So you say in the car. My wife likes love stories, but I prefer war films. So here we are talking in general. Okay, she likes love stories in general. Not the love stories from Russia between 1985 and 2000. That's very specific, but no. Love stories in general, okay? Next one, number four, is uh, a meal, okay? So that's why we're saying simply, I'm having dinner, and not I am having the dinner, okay? And then you have the word next and a day. So you say next Friday. We don't say the next Friday, all right? Now, number five, the last one, I'm not sure if I closed the windows before I left home this morning. Of course, if you say, I'm not sure if I closed the windows, it's clear for you and me that are my windows in my house. Okay, that's why I say the windows. Before I left home, and remember that uh, we have special words, for example, home, for example, work, for example, school, that normally don't have uh, an article in front before I left the home, no, before I left home, okay? So, this is all, I hope that it helped you, and if you have any more questions, you can always go to the, uh, to the class blog, or you can simply go online, uh, use the Google, and just simply type um, article activities in English, okay? Have fun, and I'll see you next time, bye-bye.